But the uh, the bed is cool because underneath oh, there, wow. you got a little storage bin. And this little guy here, there's a hole that holds this. So as I pull this forward. Oh my, look at that. It's sort of like a uh, Volkswagen Westphalia. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're here with Vincent. Hi Vincent. Hey there, Bob. W welcome to the channel. Thank you for having me. And we're going to check out his really nice uh, Toyota Sienna. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you've been on the road for a little while now. I would say on the road, uh, about a year full time in the van. And uh, I had a shop before that. So I'm going on three years actually living in the van. But I actually had a business where I would sleep in a van and go back and forth to the barber shop. Well, you still didn't have a permanent home. So <laughs> I did not. No, I have it for over three years, actually. Yeah. So that's that's great. That's and uh, it's great. <laughs> well, uh, I, that's the next question. Mm. After three years, what do you think? I think there's a lot of challenges um, for a guy like me. I've been through a pretty not nasty divorce, but through a divorce, a heartbreaking thing. And so you really, I found you really got to have your health, your your mental. Uh, you have to be a certain type of person, I think, um, that can adjust with the things that are happening along the way. I have had a personally a hard time with uh, a little bit of loneliness. You know, mm -hmm. being alone is a hard thing for some guys, mm -hmm. especially after 20 years of marriage. Right. And the um, two together is. Oh yeah, difficult. yeah. But you have to work. It's work. It's not easy, and it's been a dream of mine for a long time. Matter of fact, I started really young, living in a car. I could tell you that story, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a, a journey, and definitely adjustments have to be made. Right. So if you could magically change it, would you? Um, as far as living in a van, yeah, I would probably, uh, have it both ways <laughs> because I am a nomad at heart. Um, um, my, my very first, uh, live in vehicle was a 73 Pinto wagon with a twin mattress in it. I was pretty much homeless then. I had no idea what van life was and that was 1981. So it's been a long time since then. I was kind of walking the streets and I traded an electric guitar for this Pinto. And I said, I can live in that thing. And that, so that was long before I heard about you, <laughs> but I had still no idea about the nomad thing. You know, I just kind of naturally was drawn to something that put a roof over my head. Right. And I did that for a year, parking in grocery store parking lot, Safeway mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, there is something amazing to be said about, I, I have a vehicle, I know how to live in it. Mm -hmm. I'll never be homeless. That's right. As long as I've got that vehicle. That's right. Today, are you doing it by choice or still being forced into it? Um, it's both, I think. Uh, I am a nomad, but I would love to have a home base or at right. least uh, maybe a garage or something that was set up for business or uh, I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind yet. I had a business. I decided to close it and follow my dream. I didn't have a lot of money at the time, but I saved up what, about 10000 and then, of course, right when you're going to leave, the car has a bunch of problems. I've got a lot of money in this 2008 just to make it so it's, you know, trustworthy on the road and I don't break down. Um, but that's what happened before I left. I had to spend about 3000 to get it good. So I had a lot less and it didn't last. So I ended up in Idaho. I traveled the coast all the way up to Coeur d'Alene, got a job, ended up staying. So I'm sort of still relying on the, you know, knowing that I can get a job anywhere I'm more likely to just jump back into a job, but it's really hard because, you know, barbering is the kind of thing that you kind of build up a client base. Right. You're We're paying the rent for the chair and you build this business up and your heart's going, I need the road. I want to, <laughs> I want to go. And so it's always like, build it up, leave it, go on the road, build it, you know? And so that's what I've been doing. I feel like I would love to uh, have a situation, which is why I started my YouTube channel over two years ago. I wanted to hopefully build something that would help me stay out there without uh -huh. having to be tied down to work. Mm -hmm. I'm trying now not to pressure myself with the YouTube thing. It's a it's a thing, as you know. It's it hard. becomes a job. Yeah, it's really a job. It's a lot of stress, especially if you're adjusting to the road like I have been and being alone and learning to appreciate that aloneness. And I do a lot of times. I find like I could have been with a caravan this weekend and I decided, you know what? I just want to be alone. So I was alone. And you have that choice, which is awesome. I think I would probably uh, choose to have a upgraded rig and uh, a successful channel would be my dream probably. You just bet. so I could keep going. Yeah, and it's it's worth the effort if you hang in there usually. 
the freedom is is yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely, to be able to be where you want to be, and it's uh, it calls to you, and it's, it's very hard to leave it behind. Once yeah, you've done it's it. addictive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how about showing us around? See what you've done. Okay. Well, this is my 08 uh, Sienna, and it's an LE. It's not a four-wheel drive uh, or an all-wheel drive. It's a front-wheel drive, which I found because I've been in the winter of Idaho, and I've just powered through a foot of snow, had no problem. Of course, I put a three-and-a-half-inch lift from Journeys Off-Road on the van when I first got it. It was one of the first things I did is change it to the bigger wheels and the lift. Because that's the one thing. If you have a front wheel drive, you're probably good, but you also need clearance to right. get over some bumps. And you have to take it easy, but I have never had anything hit the bottom of my van since I lifted it. So up front here, I keep, uh, this is a rebounder, a high-end one. This is what I do for exercise. Oh, oh uh-huh. So it pops out into a, like a 45-inch trampoline, and you just bounce on it. And 10 minutes on this is like walking for three miles. Wow. So it's very effective. And uh, over here... I used to have a uh, 200 watt solar panel where the basket is, but I never found myself in the sun. And when I did, I could never get enough power generated for any length of time to charge my batteries. When I, and I use Blue, Blue Eddy. So I went and got this Champion 2500 watt inverter generator. And now I, as long as I'm not bugging somebody, I don't feel bad about running the generator. And I only have like a max fan and a couple things to run in here. I do have a refrigerator. I've, I've one of the Bouge RVs, mm -hmm. and it's a smaller one, but it runs off a lot less power. When I'm in the van, I can reach from the driver's seat into the refrigerator right. and access everything as I drive. I also have a TV. I don't know if you see it in here, but that's a 24-inch Vizio smart TV. Oh, yeah. And uh, I pretty much have a, uh, a endless supply of Wi-Fi on my phone because I have visible. And visible uh, gives you an unlimited hotspot. Mm -hmm. So I usually run my telephone myself uh, through that, and I can watch YouTube all night. YouTube is pretty much the only thing I watch. Right. And I buy movies on there as well. So, so you here, put in a floor that goes looks like the yeah, full length. This is a uh, this is a linoleum, mm -hmm. and I was looking at the tile, and I got scared because I don't know how to do tile, and then all the little things you got to do. So. All I did was take out the frame of the bed and took everything out. And then it only goes back about mid to the end of this bench here. So I laid this all flat and put everything back in. And then uh, this little piece here hides my terrible cut on the wood here. <laughs> yeah. But it makes it look like I'm pretty good at this, yeah. which, which I'm totally not. Anybody could do this. When I first got this van, I took out the chairs and I threw a twin mattress on the floor. And this has only been in here for about three months. So other than that, it was always just wood and my bed on the floor um, and that cabinet in the back. I had a friend of mine help me build the box. And then I cut up all of the uh, the wood for the facing in the top. So right here is where I keep all my clothes folded up nicely. So it kind of forces me to be a little neater. Right, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't have room for messes. Right. And as you can see here, I've got some clothes folded. Some of those are dirty. And then over here, you can access from that side. We'll go over that. But uh, I have some coats that get on the little hanger here. Mm -hmm. Of course, I built this wall behind the front seat so that I can hang a TV exactly for what it's doing. Uh -huh. So with that hook, I'm able to hang a jacket, put my hats up. Of course, I have the curtains running across, which I hardly ever use because unless I really am around crowds, I don't really need them. But here's my middle part here. And you can see how I boxed this in. Oh, so it can't go slide. This is the Bledi EB70, and it's pretty uh, pretty handy, 700 watts. And it'll start something that needs, I think, what, 1,000 watts? So that was used to be in the back behind uh, near the other battery, but I decided, you know what? I think I want to put that battery up front. Then I can run my refrigerator off of it. I don't have to have the car started to charge my, my cell phone. And... Uh, I could also charge from the, which I do all the time. While I'm tra traveling, I plug it into the lighter and it charges at about 100 watts. If you wanna ask me where I go potty? Yeah, that's, that's the emergency potty. Right. And also I use a bottle uh, just for going pee. But uh, that thing, I got a story about that, but uh, we'll tell you later. 
So this here is awesome because this whole area, when I had the front seat in, this whole area was the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. But with the front seat out and the little platform I built there for the, holding all that stuff, this became free. So now I have what you call a everything bag. It's all the things you have to get to, but if you don't put them in something, they will be all over your van. Right. That's my everything bag. But the uh, the bed is cool because underneath oh, there, wow. you got a little storage bin. I keep my Birkenstocks on the other side there. But you can see that little frame in there. Yeah. And it's really sol solidified by these little brackets on the mm -hmm. bottom. All brackets. And there. this little guy here, there's a hole that holds this. So as I pull this forward. Oh, my. Look at that. It goes down. You can see how the bed is sort of like a... Uh, what do you call those uh, Volkswagen Westphalias? Yes, they, their seat it's, does exactly it's that. It's sort of the same deal. Yeah, but I saw it on another YouTuber's channel, and uh, I think his name's Eric. Great design, and then see, I've got my guitar in here too, so you can see how much stuff fits. All I do is bring that sleeping bag back. That's pretty much the back end and how I live. Okay, uh, and from the back, do you have storage in the back? I do. So this is a rig swing away. It's probably a little big for my unit, but with the lift kit, it's able to lift up off the ground. I took the spare from underneath the stock spare, and I got rid of it because I don't need it. And I was thinking, where am I going to put a spare? So I found this company. Uh, they also supply the license plate holder and the light. And it's really easy. A couple switches, and boom. And this is a little table I cook on. Wow, that's nice. There's that. So whenever I want to cook a meal, that's pretty much what I do. And this back here is, is the rear end, obviously. Like I said, all you got to do is throw that forward and boom, you got your bed. But the storage is under here. Mm -hmm. Those are the two seats that were in there. And I got my two burner stove. I got a Vitamix for our smoothies. A case of sardines in case I get hungry and there ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I keep an extra five gallons of water here and any fluids for the car. Other than that, um, I've learned over the last couple of years that I just take way too much stuff with me. Yeah. And I was in Coeur d'Alene, and when I was heading back to Texas, I realized how much stuff I actually had. I took the solar panel off the roof because, like I said, it was just useless for me. I wasn't charging my batteries at all with it. So I thought, I'm going to get a basket that is half the width of the roof. And that's exactly what I did. You can see that's what I brought all my junk home. I have a uh, all-weather bag, uh -huh. zip shut, sure. rain, snow, whatever. It goes in there. I can load it up, strap it down to the basket, and boom. We put this in, and I left some openings because I wanted to, um, I wanted to be able to put i have this thing too if i need more space to set things on mm -hmm. i keep that so and obviously more fans obviously good fans here i have to have fans on this one i have the one up there the max fan is always it's always ready to go mm -hmm. that max fan i would i would say if you have any questions about putting a max fan fan on your uh minivan just position it correctly and you will not regret it. Uh, here's the plug I was telling you about. Right. It's a no-co. I basically just drilled a hole, a two-inch hole, and it's just like an extension cord on the other end. And on the Siennas, there's a little hole pocket back here, a little storage. So I knew I wasn't going to punch through any kind of cord or anything or cable. I was able to put it right through. It's just a plug on the other side mm -hmm. where I have a triple plug and all those things plug into it. Extension cord to the front to charge my other battery. So this is coming clutch as well. And this is my cleaning and I have cans of paint for touch up. Um, this side opens up here from this side for access. Here's another one of those beautiful five gallons that I have back there. These are wonderful. They're about 35 bucks on Amazon, but they're just the right shape, you know? Well, Vincent, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank fun. you for, uh, for enlightening us and inspiring us it's thank you so folks if you got anything out of this video like us on youtube subscribe to the channel hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later bye now take care